Ashe bashe kaka tingo zini zwil Awe 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 bali viwe Izi tezale shiju muzi begele kozi Ngala si temba seksele matlozi Eli nyeli Eli nyeli Dube labu masame varmini mifukil Awar nartsukil I am in the Land Rover Range Rover First Edition D350 this week and I can't wait to tell you all about it. It's such an opulent vehicle, um, but we're going to get into it. We're going to do the outside, the inside, and then I'll let you know the verdict. So the Range Rover limited edition first edition d350 is powered by a three liter twin turbo engine that produces 258 kilowatts and a whopping 700 newton meters of torque which is absolutely abysmal for me but I, I it makes sense because the size of the vehicle is just it's 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 a mammoth it's huge you know um i saw nikki dubbed it as kim kardashian because it has a lot of curves and dips and lines and all those things so it's a very very stunning and large vehicle and it's very imposing on the road so i really didn't i i really enjoy a lot about it the front however is the one thing that lets me down i don't look, like how it looks up front i'm not a huge fan um <laughs> but the rear is my parting gift i think the rear is absolutely stunning there's nothing for it the rear the split tailgate you know it's so beautiful it's so luxurious this color also i think i'd get it in a different color but i think it's a very beautiful uh, well-crafted vehicle i love how the side steps um just come out when you unlock the car giving people just better access into the vehicle you know the retractable the retracting um door handles which is an absolutely beautiful thing just everything about this car is very opulent and very luxurious and even the looks of it but it's the queen's car so vele vele like it's a very it's a car that demands attention and it grabs attention and has so much presence on the road so coming into the interior i think it's a very very well laid out and a beautiful interior everything in here is absolutely stunning you have the 13.2 inch monitor um, that's apple carplay and android auto ready and houses almost all the functions of the interior so you can change the heated seats you can change the temperature heated cooled seats the massage functions if you want you can also um, fold the rear seats you can have them recline also um, from the, um, from this monitor over here from this infotainment system the cluster the digital cluster up in front is also something that's so beautiful it's so well laid out it's so like it's nicely done um, and the graphics in here are so stunning it just looks good it looks very welcoming and comfort levels in here are absolutely amazing uh, these seats Kuri, you have this this armrest that I'm so obsessed with. Kure, I just feel like I'm in an executive vehicle. Okarigatore, you know what? I'll speak to management and the board uh, and we will come to a decision and I'll revert back soonest. guys. <laughs> Um, and you have a meridian sound system which i feel could be better it's the only thing that's letting the car down for me i need a bit of a better sound system meridian is good but ah guys i'm a bit disappointed in it i wish it was a bit better i really wish the, the sound the meridian sound system was a little bit better i wish it was a little bit better or maybe they could have used something different i've heard good things about macintosh and macintosh i think you find it in the grip grip jeep grand cherokee i haven't heard it but i've heard a lot of journals say it's probably one of the best and it's flipping expensive it is an expensive sound system so that would have been nice in here maybe then i would have been a bit happier with it um and yeah i love also the steering it's this huge circle like this huge dish you know this huge circle um and how the multi-function steering wheel as well laid out you know a lot of brands are moving into doing these touch haptic things this one this car decided to be like no we're still doing the conventional bad tinge which i'm absolutely grateful for because i love this i love this setup it's actually my favorite setup i don't like the touch haptic because you then change things by mistake and then yeah you get frustrated and it's a very intuitive car like it's so laid out, well laid out it's so simple to use i thought that i'd be out of my depth i thought i'd just be going crazy or i don't know how things work or how the way things are but it's actually very seamless and easy to use 
Um, so I'm very happy with the interior. You know, the sunroof also is something that's impeccable. Um, the roof lining here is white. It's, 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 it's a beige one, um, but there's a bit of a black contrast. Uh, so the pillars are, are, are black and then the roof is a bit beige but I think it works because it feels like a bit of a yacht it feels like you're in a yacht a very expensive boat or something where you are in sheer luxury guys there are screens behind me there are screens in the back for your passengers to have some leisure time and some entertainment there are screens be, um, behind my seat and the passenger seat so rear occupants obviously have the time of their lives the seats recline um so like i said it's a yacht on wheels it's an absolutely phenomenal vehicle so the interior for me is out of this world and i'm truly 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 impressed with it yeah there's not yeah yo guys hi number one the boot space is something that's also very commendable i really do like the boot space i like the size of it the split tail gail tailgate you don't have to split it all the way you can actually just open it like a normal boot uh, the way you'd open a normal boot and then put your things in and uh yeah call it a day <laughs> i guess so the capacity of the boot space is amazing and i'm glad it's a five seater because it gives you ample room um at the back in the in the boot so number one on that uh, in terms of the fuel economy in this vehicle, I think Range Rover claims about 7, 7.2, 7.5 litres. Um, I'm doing 9, but I'm not mad at it. And I think the person that's buying this vehicle, diesel is the least of their problems. You don't care about the price of diesel when you're driving a car like this. <laughs> and obviously, even with the high consumption, I'm actually not feeling it because I only filled up a little bit. Um, but I still have enough fuel to run my errands and do like go quite the distance because it's really nice. Um, it's a it's, it's it's really decent on fuel and yeah, it's fine for for what the car's worth and for the size. It's actually very impressive. So we are getting into the full verdict of the vehicle. What do I think of the Range Rover D three fifty limited edition first edition? Yada yada. I think that in terms of driving dynamics, it is absolutely phenomenal. It feels like it's gliding on air. For a car of its size, it's actually very nimble. It's light on its feet. It's just it's very graceful in the way it drives. It's very graceful, very quiet, you know. When you put your foot down, the torque just comes out. And the brakes also are absolutely stunning because when you put your foot on the brakes, it's just responsive. It's absolutely responsive it's quiet it's well insulated can't hear much from the outside um i can hear myself think you know like it's a it's 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 a very very pleasurable driving experience you know very little turbo lag you know that eight this eight speed gearbox is working very well with the engine everything is work is is is, is working well together like there's a lot of synergy between all of the components of the car every single thing every single element of the car works well Kore, this car is like it knows Kore, it needs to do this that and the third it knows Kore, okay i need to do this this is what the driver wants it's so on point and it's so prompt and so precise and accurate in changing gears and giving you the torque that you need and in in, in in handling its power on the road steering is very light the steering wheel is absolutely light handling in this thing is so so the steering is very responsive um it just goes with you guys it just listens to you and i i really cannot fault it in terms of driving dynamics um so yeah um the comfort level is also amazing suspension is very well done um so look 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 full 10 out of 10 for covered size i'm very very impressed um so so we get to the nice part the the pricing the pricing for this vehicle you're looking at paying 3.8 million rand 3.8 million rand dollars 3.8 million south african dollars <laughs> so it is a lot of money it is very expensive i think the closest rivals to it in terms of size and segment i would say the bmw x7 and the mercedes-benz gls so those are the vehicles that i think are closely to it but i think they're significant they're a bit cheaper i think the gls Started about 2 million X7 or somewhere around there. I stand to be corrected. Um, but yeah, I think for me, if I want to be an outlier and someone that's a bit different from the rest, I'd buy this. And I think the D350 is a, a very decent one from the range. Um, I think in this range of Range Rover, the, the Land Rover Range Rover, you have 17 models. So you get the plug-in hybrid also and the SVR and the SV autobiography, all those kind of trim levels. Um, but I think this is a decent one. I think going now over the four million rand mark if you have the money sure i mean sure 
you can do it but i think in terms of just under four million this is the the best like a, a, a very great um uh sweet spot and yeah because i really think that it's absolutely stunning you know um so yeah that that for me is a it's a very beautiful car and the pricing also yes obviously not many not the, the average south african cannot afford this i mean you know you must like i don't know someone commented are <laughs> And I can get it. Maybe we will call the whole tip. Let pay sleep in bed. Why? Raga did that. Oh, it's doing. We throw a plug in. You go Alice Lee. You go Santi. You go go invest. Have a guy guy. Why tip a place pay sleep? Why raga did that? I mean, do you, bro? You know why? Call now. I call. I got nine two five. But in anyway, it's a very opulent and a very stunning and expensive vehicle. But for for i they they gave it everything it needs so the price is kind of justified they gave it everything the car needs and you're good with it you know personally for me i'm a defender girl i'm a defender and a disc, uh, uh, and a range rover sport girl you know um also i'm a huge fan of the disco 4 so the discovery 4 is a car that still has my heart uh, albeit i've seen someone in the second hand market and they're still so expensive i think i've seen some for 800 or even more than that you know so Harit, harit, harit. But it's a, it's 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 a, a absolutely phenomenal vehicle, and yeah. So, hmm. That is it from me, Buma Seven. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for the love and the support on the channel. We are close to seven thousand subscribers, so please do keep subscribing. Share with a friend or a friend or a friend. Tell them about me. You know, let's get those numbers up. Don't forget to watch the ads, also, guys. Watch the ads. <laughs> Yeah, but Kalebocha guys, Kalebocha Humina Hani, thank you so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to comment, tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Eh? Eh, bye bye. <laughs>